Post watermelon is not good. But uh, I need to eat something. Oh man. We were supposed to be here about an hour ago. But when I tell you, when I tell you that the throw it up was in full mode for like the last 30 minutes, it's been a full mode. Mm -mm. And I know you're probably like, bitch, why are you eating watermelon? This is the only thing that has been helping me. The last week. So judge me all you want. But... I don't know why it helps, but it does. <sighs> it's only literally, I drink lemon water every day. Hello, Kobe, congratulations. When I tell you, okay, when I tell you that it's only when I literally eat and then rest a little bit or take a nap or like lay and then I get up, that's when it's just like, pew. The eight for sure. What? But this is literally the only thing that like helps. And Frank wants a piece, so I have to go give him some. Ginger does not help. <clears throat> um, I already have that, Josie. Oh, okay. Really, Joanna? Like I said, mine isn't like constant. And it has subsided a lot, but it's only when I eat and then I rest. Then I get up. It's like, shoom. Um... Um, <sighs> she cracks me up. Okay. Hopefully it's over, almost over for you. We're almost there, so yeah, maybe. Um, oh, good for you, Lisa. Lucky. Mine hasn't been, like, horrible, but like I said, it's only when I eat and rest. It's like I have to eat and keep it moving, like I can't rest. Um, mints don't work. If it's a boy, your belly button with pop, well, what? <clears throat> My belly button's gonna pop out. I crave pizza, watermelon is better for you. Eat what you feel like eating. I actually haven't had cravings, really. All right, so we do have a little bit of gifts that arrived for baby pierogi um, that we are going to open from the registry. Dude, this is so sad that this, like, you can tell that this watermelon is just, like, not a vibe. So disappointing. So disappointing. A shot of pickle juice. It doesn't work for me either. Okay. Like I said, I literally, and it's not even, like, throw up, throw up. Except unless I drank a lot of liquid before, like, resting and eat, and when I eat... But it's just like, I wake up and it's just like the smallest amount of throw up and then I'm fine. And then I'm fine and it makes no sense. Literally, I don't understand it. I'm like, what the hell? Why are we here? <laughs> why are we here doing this? Like when I'm sitting there, like above the toilet, I'm like, why are we here? <clears throat> Uh, please don't lay down after you eat. I don't immediately da lay down after I eat. 
like I'll eat and then like if I nap, it can literally be like two hours later I'll after eating I'll nap and I'll wake up sick. Um, but yeah, so let's get her started. Um, I love how you are saying baby pierogi. Yeah, my friend Red came up with the idea. It is all worth it in the end. Okay. Let's go before I have you guys here all night because it is kind of late. It's 8.37. A small glass of cold milk. I don't like cold milk. So, I know Priscilla. Crazy, huh? Enjoy your gift. Congratulations. So happy for you and your rainbow baby. From Amanda Valdez. If you guys are here when I'm reading the little notes, just say hi. So I know you're here and I can... Um, Thank you, you know, I mean, obviously I'm going to be thanking you, but like, so I can see if you're here, you know? Um, <clears throat> what are you doing? Yeah. Look at her. <sighs> okay. Oh, he said no more paparazzi, mom. No more paparazzi. Hi, Laura. How are you, my love? Um, Cindy, how far along are you? So yeah, this one is from Amanda Montez Valdez. Danielle, that doesn't help. I've tried that. So we have a little, um, touch and feel ocean friends book. If you guys don't know, we live by the ocean. So this is a freaking perfect little baby book. Obviously, even if you don't, but... The baby's gonna be around a lot of water. A lot of water. So it looks like her, or like that, what? It looks like her. I don't know. Um, all clownfish are born male. Then how do they reproduce? Do they change into a female? Alexa, how do clownfish turn into a female? In clownfish society, there is a dominant male who will become a female if the female of the group dies. This process is known as sexual reassignment. The former dominant male will undergo sexual reassignment, including changes in coloration and behavior, to become a female. This adaptation allows the species to maintain a gender balance in their groups and ensures the survival of the colony. Now hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. <laughs> Is that incest? If there's only one female in a colony of clownfish. Hold on. So if, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Alexa. Is there only one clownfish female in a colony? In a clownfish colony, there is typically only one female clownfish. The female clownfish is the only one capable of breeding, and she is also the largest and most dominant member of the colony. The male clownfish, on the other hand, is smaller and less dominant than the female. He is also the only one who can mate with the female. okay let me see if there's anything else in this book that will blow my fucking mind okay nothing else what the heck did anybody know that say yes or no down below so yeah we have the little ocean friends book from amanda she cute, she cute. Um, I learned something too. So there's that. And then we have a diaper caddy, you guys. A little diaper organizer with um, little elephants on it. We're going to actually open it just because I'm nosy and I want to see what it looks like. Um, the, uh, the gender. <laughs> the 
nursery theme um, colors are gray and teal and white, of course, obviously. Um, and then elephant themed. So surprise, clownfish all sleep with each other. We're always learning. Oh, there's also a little baby name. Spot. That's so cute. That's perfect. Gorgeous color. I guess we do learn something new every single day. Thank you, Amanda. I haven't seen you in here yet, but if you are in here, if you're catching the replay, thank you, my love. I don't know, Monica. Mind blow. Mind blown. I love elephants. If you've been following me for a while, you know that um, my obsession with elephants is so real. Okay? And I mean, like, so real, so real. What happened? Girl, we just found out clownfish pretty much commit incest. Thanks to a baby book. Look at me. <laughs> Look at me. A oh, man, where's the thank you note? Bunch of freaky fish, right. Where's the thank you note? Also, you guys are, what the heck? Is it in the book? It is. <laughs> this one is also from Amanda Valdez. Um, if you guys don't know, it's bath time. If you guys don't know, these books right here are literally indestructible. Like, I mean, like, girl, not me bending it. Indestructible, okay? You can wash these bad boys, okay? The baby can literally chew it. It's rip-proof. It's non-toxic. It's 100%, um, yes, Cindy. It's 100%, look, that wrinkle is literally just, like, rubbing away. I guess, Paula, me, uh, we're 13 weeks in a day, two days. Um, but yeah, they have all different kinds. So we have the little farm, or we have, hello, little farm, is that how it goes? Or hello farm? I can't remember. And then this one, and then a third one. Why can't I think of my third one that, that Deb just sent us? <sighs> Brain fart. But yeah, biting it. It's literally indestructible, and it's washable. Isn't that so freaking cool? And I had no idea this, that it existed, but it does. Oh, it's got little elephants and monkeys and a little bath and all of that in there. But yeah, indestructible. Okay, indestructible. Thank you, Amanda. We love it here. Wait, where's the note? Oh, okay. <clears throat> a groundhog and a woodchuck are the same animal? What? You have to be a little bit more specific. I mean, like, you're telling me that they're just, they just look different, but they're the same damn thing, or people just call them two different things, and it's the same thing. Um... It's pinned down below, Angie. Hey, beautiful friend, Anya. How are you doing? I'm good, Melissa. How are you, my love? Um, look at us learning shit. Look at us learning things. It's crazy, huh? <clears throat> oh, Cindy. Well, then, girl, we're like the same. Um, when did you find out? Okay. Hello, Terry. How are you, my love? Then we have... Thank you, Wanda. Hi, Monica. We have a car baby camera. It is from... I hope this will help you keep an eye on your little boy or girl. Um, in low parentheses, this little one and you are surrounded by so many happy hearts. Much luck to, uh, for you both. From Mar Marie McManaway. Marie, thank you, Chris, for your stars. Marie McManaway. If you are in here, 
Make sure you comment so I can say hello. Thank you, Emily, for the stars. She got us a little ba car baby camera. And the brand is Rohut. Oh, wait. It's, no, it's not backwards. Yes, yeah, Cindy, we are. Hi, Joanne. Thank you, Terry Lynn. Hi, Brandy. So we got a little car baby camera. Now I'm getting lightheaded. Girl, what the hell is wrong with you? Breathe, bitch. Come on my baby moon cruise. Please tell me you do. Let's go on yours. I have a six month old now. Yeah, but I'm not going on a baby moon cruise. So what do you mean? And did you have a boy or a girl? What? <laughs> you haven't even been here, girl. We... <laughs> What the heck? My daughter, nine weeks pregnant, and today. I'm so sorry, Veronica. I'm so sorry uh, for your loss, for your daughter's loss. Sending hugs and prayers, girl. Hugs and prayers. <clears throat> Thank you, Nisa. Okay. Hello, Mary. Hi, Anna. August, Sherry. Baby, let's eat. Thank you, Deb. I literally couldn't think of it whatsoever. Thank you, Chris, for your stars. We are uh, a third or a fourth. Let me see one. A fourth of the way to the star party, you guys. This one is from Heather. This one is from Heather. It just says, enjoy your gift. And it is a monster book. It's a little sensory book. I love these little things. Um, I am 13 weeks and five days, not two days. Look, you guys. Oh, really, Denise? Uh, I found out today, I posted a flower, um, calendar thing for your birth month so go look at it before this live of course veronica oh baby a baby girl we are team boy we are team boy Wow, that's a, oh look, there's the little munch out of the book. <clears throat> I did, Melissa. Okay. Thank you, Pat. Heather, are you in here? Thank you, Tammy, for the stars, my love. Whew, why am I getting so lightheaded? Uh, Monica, my registry is pinned down below, babe. Why am I so lightheaded all of a sudden? I know life's been a little hectic. I can't do two platforms right now. It's wild, but I miss it over there too. I know, isn't that the sweetest, Denise? What the heck? Team Boy, yes. Of course, everybody wants a healthy baby, Annie. Hi, Donna. How are you, babe? Okay. Frank. Enjoy your gift. So happy for you. Excited for your new adventure called Motherhood from Cynthia Watkins. Cynthia, are you in here, my love? Thank you, Lavinia. Uh, no, this won't be. Both my brothers have kids. Ooh, okay. It's a battery fan that you can uh, clasp onto a, a stroller. Car seat, whatever it may be. Yeah, Morgan, it's turned off, so I don't think they need to come. It's a little fan. A little baby fan. 
a little baby fan. Cynthia, are you in here, my love? Yes, Dina. Cat, delete me on Snap and re-add me. Because I'm not getting it. Uh, yeah, Heather, remember I went and picked it up from the office? I think it's this one. Being pregnant in the summer is no joke. We're going to find out. I love the the um, hot weather, though. You guys, I have to, like, figure out old wife's tales. I only got two so far. Oh, my goodness. I'm getting hella lightheaded. Is this from you, Heather? Lube for the Doppler? Is this what, <laughs> me looking at it like, uh, I didn't order this, but then this one's from you. It's gotta be, right? He was just over here earlier, DJ. I, I hope, cause if not, then I, what the heck? <laughs> Savannah, what's your snap name? Hi, Janine. You lost so much weight. Yeah, girl, I'm breaking out like crazy. And I don't know if I'm losing weight or gaining it. Heather, anybody see Heather commenting? Do you see my comments? I see you now, Lisa. I hope that this is from her because if not, I'm gonna be like, what the heck? Try the baking soda gender experiment. So should I just Google it? The thing is, is we're not using the Doppler currently because the Doppler has been giving us anxiety like a mother effort. Okay, so we are not using that until probably like 20 weeks. It's Doppler. I know it's Doppler lube, I'm assuming, but... Did Heather get it? That's the question. Oh, congratulations on your first grandson. I'm waiting for to see. Why is her comment getting so filtered if she is? She said yes. Okay. I'm like, um, okay, perfect. I'm going to see what it looks like because I'm nosy. And I want to see how thick the lube is. If it's like as thick as the other one. Oh, it's different. Hmm, it smells a little minty. Thank you, um, Heather. Like I said, we're not using the Doppler until, but this is going to last me a hell of a long time. <laughs> this is a lot. How big is this? Where's the... Hello? Oh, there it is. Um, okay, that says what it's available in. Oh, 8.5 ounces. Oh, my goodness. I haven't seen a bottle in six years since I was pregnant with my youngest. I didn't even know that they like, I thought that you could only probably get it by like the Doppler brand. I didn't even know that they could do this. I do take my prenatals. Yes, you add equal parts per to equal parts. What? Katie, I have no idea what that says. That's what they use at the guy now. This exact brand, Aquasonic. <sighs> cool, I use that kind for my muscle shocker. Dang, there's a thing called a muscle shocker. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Cheryl. No, we don't know what we're having yet. We got our um, gender done, our gender and genetic testing done Monday. What is today? Wednesday? Is today Tuesday? Or is it Wednesday? Was that just yesterday? You guys, everything is like just piling up together. Oh, Frank's doing the cute little pot thing. Oh, yeah, we missed it. Um... 
what is it? today's tuesday it has to be tuesday he's at his own home um hi baby but yeah we got the testing done we did go live in supporters and show the little um ultrasound which everything that goes in supporters you guys does come to regular life at some point i also smacked when i was lightheaded you smacked what thank you kathy hi jojo i loved it when it was a sonogram appointments i get those every four weeks because i'm high risk so today's tuesday glad we know okay so we have heather schmid and then we have cynthia and then we have heather glass and then we have M marie mcmanaway and then we have amanda valdez have you guys seen any of those besides Heather uh, Schmidt comment? Sir. This was like me being psycho and you were there. What? What? I hope we can meet someday. Someday over the rainbow. Um, hi, Teresa. Thank you, my love. Oh, you guys, I'm lightheaded. But I got to put this in. The, the makeup room has become like the baby storage room. Um, actually, I'm not trying to take much, though. I'm just trying to knock it out naturally over here. Just trying to do my best. The nausea mitts they gave me, I've used it a couple of times. And now everybody's telling me that, like, Zofran is, like, it's not even the Zofran that I have. It's, like, the generic kind of Zofran. Um, and everyone's like, that's horrible for you, for you and the baby. And then everyone's like, Tylenol's horrible for you and the baby. And they prescribed that to me and Robitussin. Well, they didn't prescribe it, but said I could take it when I was super sick. When was that? D December? um thank you carla for your stars my love yeah april that's about normal so hi margie um i was like what the heck like what can i take then maybe some water or snack i've been taking water i think i'm just hot No, the house I wanted, um, the house I wanted, uh, got sold. It's off the market. Well, I don't know if it got sold, but it's no longer on the market. I can't do peppermint. That makes me more nauseous. Listen to the doctor. The doctor didn't tell me that. You guys did. So I'm like freaking out. I'm like, what the heck? I'm like, well, I don't even take that much Tylenol to begin with, but I was, like, taking it, like, every day or every other day when I was hella sick. You guys remember? Thank you, Chris. Oh, really? You said his name was Frank because you didn't want to say his name, which I think is a little funny. It was just crazy watching it. What? Yeah, Beverly, I don't see who you're responding to. Yeah, I'm not taking extra strength. It's just regular Tylenol. I know, Jadine. I got, like, sour candies, and then I got these, like, nausea lemon ginger candies. Well, Devin got them for me. Um, and then my friend Red recommended these candies, and then I use, like, sour candies, but it's just, like, it's crazy because nothing works except to just throw up a little bit. Your comment went away about the lightheadedness. Really, Nicole? Hmm. Eat saltines, crackers. They don't work for me, girl. I bought two different brands. <gasps> um, No, I'm not close to Montgomery, Alabama. I'm about four hours from Montgomery. I'm like right at the tip, girl. So like Gulf Shores is 45 minutes from me. I'm right across Mobile on the bay. <gasps> My skin. <laughs> Oh, 
Listen to the HC for nausea I sent you. What's HC? Um, baby pops. Yeah, I got those. And then somebody said to get nausea bracelets. And then I never got around to getting them. <sighs> Thank you, Michelle. Try Tom's. I got some Tom's. I got the berry flavored. Um, I don't think Tums are really for nausea, though. They're more so for, like, heartburn and, like, indigestion, aren't they? You can lay on your left side. It may help. I think I'm just lightheaded because I turned the heat up. And I'm, like, up and moving at it. And I just threw up. Uh, no, I have not fainted once. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Let's just call the guy Frank. I don't remember when I was catfished. Like at all. All right, you guys, I do think I have to get off here so I can go lay down. Ginger candies don't help. Okay, y'all. I'm gonna poppity pop off here because I feel like talking... Then breathing isn't helping it. But thank you guys so much for all the love to baby pierogi. It is greatly appreciated. All right, yeah, you guys, I'm getting hella lightheaded. I'm getting off here. Um, if you are watching the replay, thank you guys so much. We are going in the um, makeup room to be pulled away until we start on the nursery. So I appreciate you guys so freaking much. Y'all are amazing. Thank you for being here with me throughout this beautiful journey and being supportive. And if you're not supportive, then see yourself the F out because we don't like you either, okay? <laughs> um, take it easy. I know I'm about to, but I appreciate you guys and I will see you guys tomorrow morning. Peace out, Girl Scouts. Bye.